Well, hello, folks. By popular demand, Tess is making her first live appearance on her day of being one month old on here on March 11th as I tape this a little bit in advance. So thank you for all the well wishes, support, and cards that you have sent our way. We are enjoying her being a part of our family. We're going to see just how far she makes it through these midweek announcements. The major thing I wanted to bring to you this week is to announce the Holy Week times and the celebration of the resurrection of our Lord on Easter Sunday. It has been sort of a quite a maze and a puzzle to put this together in an ever-changing society as more people get vaccinating and are anticipating coming back to church and still doing things safely for those who have not yet been able to have vaccination. So no plan is perfect and it's been a lot over the place in trying to decide this. But in the end, what we're going to do is have three services at our normal times. 6.30, the sunrise service in the chapel, weather permitting. If there is bad weather that day, pouring rain, we'll probably do try to do, for those who come, a small gathering in the fellowship hall, uh, but it will be just like normal. Then at 8 o'clock, we will have an in-person worship in the sanctuary to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. Two things about this service. Just a reminder that we'll still be needing to wear a mask, and we will not be singing out loud yet. Also, for this 8 o'clock service and the 8 o'clock service only, we are asking that you RSVP. The reason for this is simply about space and being able to seat people in a safe way, especially for those who are not yet vaccinated. And then at 1030, we're going to have sort of an outdoor parking lot service. Why I use both those words is to mean that if the weather is nice, we encourage you to bring your lawn chair, sit out beside your car, and we will sing out loud. We'll tune in on your radio. You'll be able to join in on the hymns and sort of make this a little bit more festive gathering. Of course, if it's pouring rain or the weather is bad, we will continue to have that service. However, it'll just be in your cars, just like Christmas Eve and Ash Wednesday. Again, 6 of 30, sunrise, 8 o'clock in person in the sanctuary, and 10.30 outdoor parking lot service. Again, you just need to RSVP for the eight o'clock service only. I know this doesn't work best for every family and all that, but uh, just bear with us and hopefully next Easter, it'll be much different. Also a reminder that the Easter lilies, we uh, you've sent the date on that, of uh, the deadline to purchase those. We are just getting the Easter lily plants this year. Uh, for the sanctuary for Easter Sunday. So I encourage you to look at that date and please get your order uh, into the church by then. One other personal note this morning. One of the things about this video recording process that I've had to do is sort of get over myself in terms of mistakes and how one looks on camera or sounds and appears and appearance and mistakes and flubs and all that kind of thing. But when I was working on the video for the midweek last week, and caught myself walking out of the camera, I began to think that some people might be thinking I'm going to give birth pretty soon too. I guess I put on the pandemic 20. And so while this really has nothing of your concern in a sense, I am going to pledge here online so that I will be held accountable to myself that I'm going to lose 20 pounds. And so each midweek, I'm going to count down that number 20. Again, you don't have to pay attention to it, but I'm just, uh, will be shamed enough that if I don't follow through um, that I, I will be embarrassed so that I will follow through. So that's why I'm saying this to all you as I hopefully count that down and at least somewhat get back in shape for being so sedentary over this winter and during this pandemic. So please, in the meantime, all of you, be well, get your shots, and take care, dear church. Good job, little girl.